All right. This past weekend, we went and did our annual predator hunt down in the Thumb of Michigan. Predator hunting for some people can be, hey, it's after deer season, got a little cabin fever, let's go see if we can kill, kill a coyote no and save whitetail. Um, other people is like, we live for predator hunting. And normally when I think about predator hunting, I'm usually utilizing Rocky Mountain hunting calls and uh, utilizing them in the field. Well, this, we're doing it a little bit different. We're hunting over bait and we're hunting with hounds. And if, if you've never hunted coyotes with hounds, you're in, you're in for a treat. Okay, they're coming. They're coming back to the right. So Tobu set up on some bait on some whitetail, uh, like roadkill whitetail deer. After uh, about an hour, I guess, of uh, the hunt started, he had a coyote come in. He come out to the north side of the bait, yeah. and uh, then I just I didn't move, and he circled around, come up uh, between me and the bait, and then he's looking at the bait, and that's that was his mistake, because then I could move and get the gun on him, and. It didn't, that 22 250 with the Hornady bullet, he can't take much of that. Yeah. That SIG optics on top of it, man, it was like shooting in the middle of the day and it's right at dark. Last last minute of the last minute of shooting light. Very good, Tobe. Well, that could be the very first predator of the of the hunt. So for our team is team uh 37 so we'll all see we can do is try yep that's all that's we can do one down and many more to go so yeah. well great job yeah thanks great job getting this coyote down the ground and yeah so we're thanks. gonna we're gonna stay after it and you know hey we have fun and and uh and you've got some success right here his coyote hounds so we're gonna chase those tomorrow and tobe's gonna stay diligent on the the uh bobcat Maybe have some luck on that, and then, hey, we'll see. We, we got till Sunday at midday, and then uh, if ours is the first photo, then that's first predator on the pole, so to speak. Yep. Gets a little bit of a reward. We'll get some of our entry money back. <laughs> <laughs> he hustled over here. We got it tagged and um, did a little rejoicing, took a picture of it, sent it to the judges, got... Uh, got that registered and it worked out we were five minutes ahead of uh, uh, the next team if you will that submitted a picture of had killing the coyote so that that worked out for us so my whole uh, more or less all day Saturday and half day Sunday I was headed downstate to hunt in the thumb of Michigan where we were going to uh, get after them with the hounds you know, a real nice kennel that's all sort of heated runs coming in and out of the pole barn and um, the whole idea is to find a track that goes into what they call a section which is a square mile so there's roads all the way east west north south and they'll find a, a set of tracks going in say the the east um, uh, road going west then they'll check the roads around to make sure that that coyote is still in that square mile section then they'll set the hounds out and they may have two or three that's kind of their what they would call their coal trailer dogs or jump dogs set them in and as soon as that coyote gets rolling and gets up and running then um, when they get the opportunity to put in more hounds then they'll add hounds to that mix they're heading in there for the pit there so we'll see where to go and they'll have the tracking collars on so they know if the if the coyote's headed south or it's headed north and so the whole idea is to get in front of the coyote so when he clears the brush um then then you know lord willing they can get a shot so it's very exciting tremendous amount of camaraderie um the more the merrier sort of thing we chased this big male and he was making big loops kind of like a cottontail rabbit with the beagles but he's taking uh, you know much larger loops so he's going almost a square mile and then he'd loop back and he did that like three times and we could not get in front of him and the hounds were just just after him there were quite a bunch of deer tracks right here 
There she's gone. There she's gone. Yeah, there you go. Go. Now we load back up. Yep, we try are. Try to get him cut off. Yep. We're going to go head him that off. coyote jumped and climbed an eight-foot fence to get down in. So now, unbeknownst to that coyote, he sort of like went into a high fence. And uh, so we pulled the fence up. We knew the property owner got permission. Pulled the fence up, got the hounds underneath the fence. And then I got uh, Larry set up on the backside of the uh, piece of property, so to speak, where the coyote was no doubt, he'd been through that area all of his life. He knew where the front gate was, so to speak. So uh, we kind of was trying to get positioned through a creek bottom and a timber. Yep, and so you're gonna see where this coyote is coming through the timber, mm -hmm. slips through the creek, and Larry makes it. Okay. Yes. Get down there. He's moving, Lair! Okay, Larry's got a bullet in him. He's... Okay. She got Western on us. This old coyote here, 92 yards with a Weatherby 18i, three inch double odd buck. And uh, the dogs have been on this just go probably four or five mile laps and uh <laughs> whether we got it done our first coyote on camera with the hounds larry was able to get a shot at it and knock it down and then larry went up and and uh it was wounded and getting making still moving so he put another round in it and we just saved maybe a couple deer for the remainder of this winter getting this coyote down so we ended up killing three coyotes so it's all about the camaraderie having fun getting out we're going to be chasing some walleye really really soon and so i look forward to bringing that footage to you and and just uh, uh if you got any questions please uh write the comments down and, and subscribe to our channel this channel Hooked Hunting is all about um, inspiring people, showing people how they can get out and enjoy the outdoors. If you've never hunted, if you've never fished, if you've never done these sorts of things, what we're wanting to do is just uh, show how you put your mind to it. You, you know, you can you can do these same sort of things and experience what we do, which. Every day we're out in the field is just one of those magical days.